Okay, so the latest question that I've been asking on the Quark forum is um, should you uh, glue your blades to fix them or should you laminate them like some people are saying to do or should you do nothing and just keep spending money on broken blades? Uh, about a week ago I tried to use a grocery store product called Crazy Glue to fix the blades and it was very runny, it didn't work. Um, so I was a little bit skeptical, but uh, one of the forum members recommended using five-minute epoxy. Um, the definition of epoxy is a two-part uh, glue system, and it needs to be mixed, so it's very simple. You shouldn't be intimidated by it. All you do is take uh, the, uh, an equal amount of each out of the tube, put it in a little cup or a piece of paper, and you mix it together. And once you mix it, it, uh, it becomes very strong, and it will... Um, this stuff will cure in five minutes and then you apply it to the break on the blade. Here's a blade here that I just glued. I don't know if you'll see it on the video, but you can see kind of the line where it broke there right by the base where the plastic attaches. And so I glued these together, uh, let them dry for about uh, an hour. That's what was recommended and they're very strong. As you can see here, I'm not going to really you know test it to the point that it breaks, but I'm putting a pretty good amount of force on there and nothing's happening so far so I'm a little bit nervous that uh, one of these might fail in flight and cause my quark which costs a lot more than the blades to um, to fall and break so um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off now and we'll be back for a test flight you'll get to witness my uh, first time using fixed blades on the quark um, this epoxy is a lot stronger than the crazy glue I can already tell it's strong. Um, I, um, I it's sort of gooey, and so it, it kind of sticks and gets in the nooks and crannies in the blade uh, better. Um, and when it it dries, it's just a lot harder and, and and has a lot more structure to it than common super glue. So uh, we'll be back in a minute and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're back here in my living room. <clears throat> I'm going to test this inside before I go outside. I, want, I wanted to mention before I fly, don't forget to balance the blades when you, um, when you fix them with epoxy because that epoxy has weight and your blades are going to get way out of balance, so make sure you balance them. Um, on this helicopter now, I have two broken blades, not just one, so I figured I would just go for it, so we'll see how that goes. I also forgot to mention, I think there's some disadvantages to quote-unquote laminating your blades, and by laminate... People just mean to put like a piece of packaging tape along the whole length of the blade to um, uh, to stiffen it. Um, I think that's clearly not wise because then when you hit something, the energy gets transferred from that crash through the drivetrain of the helicopter and through the shaft and the head assembly and the gear and the motor and everything. And that's the whole point of the quark is that um, you don't want that to happen. That's why there's disposable blades. So I think it's much smarter to... Um, to uh, try it this way. So I have no idea if this is going to work or not. We're going to find out right now. Um, we'll see. I'm going to try some different maneuvers as much as I can in the living room. <laughs> not much room in here to just see uh, what happens. Um, this camera angle might be a little bit low, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see everything. I'm going to go ahead and try to prop it up here a little bit just so you can... It has a little bit more of an upward angle. Let's see. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right, here we go. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Looks pretty good so far. Pretty impressed. Blades appear to be tracking okay. Alright, I'm going to try a little bit of flying around in here to see what happens.
Okay, well, I just crashed. Let's see what happened. Let's see where the blades broke, if they broke in the same place or somewhere else. Ah, <sighs> interesting. Looks like, can't quite tell. Wow, they did break in a completely different place. You can see there, not sure you can see that, but they broke about two millimeters away from the original break. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, so that tells me that epoxying the blades actually does work and this blade broke about two millimeters. Wow, that's impressive. Um, let's look at this one. Uh, this one broke, also did not break on the existing line. So it's a new break. Looks like half of it's on the existing line, but half of it is not. Okay, I'm sold on it. That crash just proved that the point at which I epoxied the blades became stronger than the rest of the blade where another fail point occurred. All right, I, you have my vote for fixing quark blades with uh, five minute epoxy.